Here are six quick ways to optimize Windows for gaming. Hit the Windows key and search up visual effects. In here, turn off transparency effects and animation effects. Having these on can slightly affect performance and in some situations cause FPS drops. Search up Startup Apps. Turn off any applications that you don't want to start up every time your computer is turned on. But make sure not to turn off required applications like Windows Security and Audio Services. Go to Settings. System. Display. Here, set the scaling to 100%. Sometimes having this on a higher or lower number can affect performance. Then click on Advanced Display Settings. Here, make sure that your refresh rate is set to its maximum. This is somewhat of a common setting overlooked by some after getting a higher refresh rate monitor. From here, click on the Gaming tab. Then click on Game Mode. Turn it off. Game Mode doesn't help you get extra performance. In fact, it actually takes away performance. For the next optimization, you first have to figure out where your game launcher is located. This can be easily found with a quick Google search. Once you've found the file, right click on it and click on Properties. Then click on Compatibility. Then check the box next to Disable Full Screen Optimizations. Then click on Apply and OK. In some scenarios, turning NVIDIA Reflex off in in-game settings can give you slightly better performance. Of course, having it on gives you better latency. So experiment around this setting and see what feels better. Here are three ways to dramatically reduce your process count, which means better PC performance, lower input lag, and higher FPS when gaming. This first method we'll try is going to dramatically decrease your running processes. Open your start menu and search for Reg Edit. Then go under HKE Local Machine, then System, then Current Control Set, and finally Control. What we're looking for is the one called SVC Host Split Threshold in KB. Using this reference, we want to change the value data to correspond to the amount of RAM that you have. So in my case, for 8 gigabytes of RAM, I'll be setting the value to 800,000. Right now, you can see my processes are at 138. Now go ahead and restart your PC. After the restart, you can see the processes have been dramatically reduced. Doing this has been known to free up CPU usage and improve performance, but please play some games and do some tests. If you see no improvement in FPS or better PC performance, please revert the value to default. This optimization isn't necessarily harmful, but it's best left on default if it doesn't enhance performance. Now we'll move on to some other really effective ways to reduce Windows processes. The first thing you can try is pressing Windows plus R to open up the run window and then typing services.msc. These are a list of all the services that run on your PC, including background processes. Automatic services run at startup and typically always run in the background, while manual services activate only when triggered by you or when an app runs. We need to focus on disabling automatic services that are completely useless to us, like connected user experiences, which is just bloat from Windows. You can disable a service by right-clicking on one of them and opening its properties. Here, you'll see the startup type setting. Change it from automatic to disabled. There are also processes like Maps Downloader, which you can disable, or Windows Insider Services, which is basically Windows beta testing for new features. Assuming you aren't signed up for beta updates, you can disable this one too. Another example is Printer Spooler, which is a printer-related service. You can disable this if you don't use a printer. There are a lot more non-essential services that can be disabled, but research carefully and disable only those you're sure your PC doesn't need.